So we can hit. <laughs> Talifani Banks, welcome to the panel show. Thank you so much, my da, brother. Talifani. Da, da, Talifani. One of, one of the one of my trolls is Nguni people because mm -hmm. we think we rule yeah, Southern yeah, Africa. Yeah, yeah. Zulu, Kosa, Swatis are a bit more humble. Yeah. Debeles are humble. Yeah. We think we rule Southern Africa and whenever we're like, yeah, white people have been here for how many generations yeah, and yeah. they can't say our names. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you guys can't pronounce names north of Gauteng. Yeah, yeah. And you guys have been here forever and that's embarrassing. So that... <laughs> It's a, yeah, it's a problem. Yeah. And then you have to kind of like change your name and no, it's fine. Call, it, call, call me Talifani. You have to simplify it, yeah. That, that doesn't upset you? That you have to have like to dilute your name for the benefit of I, especially black African people? I reached a point where I didn't care about it because it has to be simplified because thinking about branding and marketing. Okay. I had to simplify it like that and not care whether you're saying it. Just like I've seen... Uh, is this guy I funny or something? Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm like, okay, I don't care. Uh, or or, or Boiti, you know yeah. what I mean? You know what I mean? I, I know I'm what like, you mean. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, if you're gonna say that, then let's make it. Let's let's run it, uh, because that's gonna simplify how we're gonna work. Because it's gonna take me five minutes to explain to you who I am and sure. my name. And, uh, yeah. A lot of uh, people look at my name, which is Hebrew, uh -huh. and they ask me, how do you pronounce it? And I'm like, I don't know. I can't speak Hebrew. Ooh. Oh, my man. So you I can like say Penwell, Penuel, yeah. Penuel, I don't know. Or Fenwell. I, not Fenwell. <laughs> Yo, the Fenwell people. Uh, <laughs> so what I've done like you, yeah. and luckily it's not even a, a, an African indigenous name. Uh, um, I ask people to call me Pen because like you, I'm like, Yes, it's simplifying. What am I trying to achieve? Yes. I'm trying to connect with you. Together. Trying to build a relationship. Course. Yes. I'm not trying to do black Handle. activism. I'm like I like that, brother. Um, but a lot of people take offense because to them their name is so important. You're like, no, I will I will force people to learn how to say my name properly. And this becomes mm. my activism. I know, I know. Uh, but that's not my mandate. I my mandate is different. Yeah. Uh if we are here to do business and um we have to converse and I have to introduce myself. Yeah. I'd rather not even introduce myself in that name. Okay. I'd rather even use a name that you would understand. Because sure. I'm here to make a deal. I'm not going to take the I'm not minutes. here for activism. Brother, 30 minutes to explain myself. Yeah. doesn't pay me. You know I understand. I mean? Yeah, that's where I'm coming from. Um, <laughs> please, can you break down, number one, where you're from? Uh -huh. Number two, what your language, what your name is and what language it is from. What it means. And then I'd like you to train me on how to pronounce it properly, just in a little time, because I think this is important. Yeah. Because we have a chance for a little bit of activism now. I've always wanted to have a platform where I can say this. So yeah. thank you. Uh, I'm coming from Louis Trichard. Is in Limpopo, Louis Trichard. Uh, Why do you say Louis? Uh, I think is how we we grew up. Okay. We we wanted to bring it modern. Black uh, Blackify. Yes. Uh, we moved to Louis Trichard. In the times in the 99s, where it was still made very much uh, white, mm. so we wanted to, we had this mindset that we need to bring it to our own, and that's how we since then I've been calling it like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I grew up there, although people think like I'm coming from Nigeria or Malawi. <laughs> or, you know. Also, that I took it and I own that's, it. That's tribalism, though. Eh? Yeah, yeah. That's but, the tribalism we have. With, hey, are you not from? Yeah, yeah. But, but you know. I've learned to be comfortable with everything that we are negative on. And I will we'll get to chat about it. Please feel free. Uh, a lot of things that we are negative on sometimes is we, we're not ready for, for light. And I think that's why. But I'm coming from Louis Richard. We're not uh, ready for light. We're not ready for, for that high level conversation. Mm, okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh, we can get to that level. Uh, so I try not to fight anything that is around my name or where I'm coming from and stuff like that. But I'm coming from down there. Uh, graduated uh, back in, in the 2000s. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I went to University of Pretoria, studied statistics, majored in econometrics, uh, worked for corporate, and I moved on. Smart guy. No, no, no. Did well at school. No, no, not even. I statistics was, uh, and econometrics. And you're saying you're not a smart guy. Yeah, I was a C student. I've got very sharp, sharp guys who are now international guys. I've brought them to be my private board guys. They are all in different uh, uh, continents. Mm. And um, it's because I know what they carry. But I'm not sharp. I just know I've got the vision. 
in in the road i know where to go you're from limpopo mm. you guys are big on education yeah people are big and my my siblings are big on education no i'm thinking because to you it, you're mm. almost underselling yourself and i don't know if it's because of where you come from or the spaces you're in most south african kids mm. would never be able to get into stats and econometrics mm. which yeah. means you're a smart guy academically which I, I think that I know how to move. I, you know what I mean? I'm not the sharpest guy. I've met smart people. I, I'm not. That's humility. Yes, but I, I just know what to do. You know what, in that room, I'm probably the, I'm in the middle somewhere, but I know I'm the one who's gonna make it happen. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so Sorry, so you, you studied <laughs> stats, econometrics at, in Pretoria? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And then you said you went to corporate? Then I went to corporate. I worked for Massmart um, here in Sunning Hill, and I moved around. I worked for Mass Cash, and uh, Mass Cash was in Park Town. Got to learn corporate and uh, Mass Cash. Yeah, yeah, Vusi. What's that? Vusi Tembewayo normally links that he was a director of a certain listed company. You, you don't know which company it was. Know. I don't know. No problem. Please carry on. Mass Cash is part of uh, Massmart, and it holds the Jumbo, the Cash and Carry, the the Cambridge, and them. Okay. Yeah. So uh, then I moved to um, I lectured in the pros in the between. Yeah, as I was working at Massmart, and I moved. Lectured. To, mm, I lectured Still not a sharp smart guy. No, no. I I know how to teach, but I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I know how to teach. Yeah. Um, I lectured dummy in statistics, economics, and uh, marketing. And my marketing was my first time. I learned marketing as I lecture, and that's how I got to understand how things work. Then I moved to Pick and Pay, and Pick and Pay I was a data scientist and a pricing analyst. And uh, what pricing analysts do, we create the models like uh, the, sm the smart shopper, the brand match models, mm. and we create prices for the business. And we try and estimate how far and how much the business should be moving, quant quantify return on investment and stuff like that. I think there, that's when I got it. I knew exactly what I'm going to do after that because mm. I knew brands, I knew business in and out. And um, then I went to, when I left Pick and Pay, I was saying that I'm going to start business, but, um, I then went to consult for two companies. I consulted for for Grow. Grow is a it's a bathroom taps company. They sell premium taps. Oh, G R O H E. Yes, I've, you see I've it on your taps. Yeah. yeah, I've seen them. Very premium. Uh, the first time I was seeing the about a shower that is 200 k. I was like, wow. Jeez, yeah. um, two hundred thousand rand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For I, a shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was there, I was setting up a team for advertising and data, and I was working with accountants. That's when I realized uh, this. I'm seeing a blimp, a glimpse of what I can do. And and then I went to AutoZone. I spent there like six months in 2017. And um, in AutoZone, I was I was hired by the CEO of AutoZone. And he tried to take me through, you know, play with the numbers with me. Brother, when I'm in the room, I'm ready. You know what I mean? So, but when I was there, I was trying to test whether I'm the person mm -hmm. that I believe I am. Uh, the fact that he gave me a job to work with him gave me enough uh, confirmation that I can. Sure. So even when I left, I sat down with him and I told him, I think my time has arrived to start doing what I want to do. What do you want to do? I want to do this. It didn't make sense at that time. Yeah. And this 2017. But I told him, whatever happens, I think I've got the light from it. Mm. And yeah, that's when my journey started, 2017. I started with a company called Analytics Advertising, which is a data technology company, a management yeah. consulting. Um, we build technology solutions for large corporations. And we also drive data science marketing for a lot of corporates. Very fancy. Let's put a, a semicolon there mm. and then take it back. Okay. Number one, Louis Trichard, which you call Louis? Louis Trichard. Louis, <laughs> Louis Trichard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It becomes funny because there's a lot of uh, English and Afrikaans words that we've blackified. Yes. In the same way we get upset when they call Utsepo, Chepo yeah. and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so yes. we've also kind of done the oh, same. We've done the same. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um your name, sorry. Um what language is it and how do you correctly pronounce it and what does it mean? Um Talipani, that's how you you pronounce it. It means that be wise. Be wise. Mm, it's like a command. It's a reminder. Be wise. Mm, be wise. What language is that? That's Shivenda. Shivenda. Yeah, Shivenda, yeah. Did you just change from Shivenda to Chivenda? Uh, it's Chivenda, yeah. It's Chivenda. Yeah. What is the difference between Chivenda and Shitsonga? 
Do you know? Or is it similar Still or is it completely long. different? I obviously I growing up in Louis Trichard, um, my neighbors are Tsonga, it's Pedi and a mixed environment and white people. Yeah. So I, I got to understand Tsonga easy. But for somebody who haven't had Tsonga and is coming from deep level where Venda is, they yeah. might not hear it. They might have a sense of what you're saying, but they might not hear what you're saying. Even Sipedi is the same. They might not hear exactly what yeah. you're saying. So they're a little bit apart. Do you understand mm. other South African languages? Yeah, yeah, multiple. I'm, I'm asking because Zulu and Kosa for an untrained ear might sound similar. And yeah. Swati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Debele. And Debele yeah. is actually very yes. close to Zulu. Mm. Um, so mm. I'd have to explain that they're all from the same family. Yes, yes. Uh, but they, they have, Kosa has more clicks. Swati yes. has more Zs and, and Ts or TH, etc. Mm, mm. So that's what I'm trying to find out with Chivenda and Chitonga. Is it completely different or are they in the same family? I don't know. I, I don't think they're in the same family. I just know Sipedi falls under uh, Tswana Sutu. Sure, Tswana Sutu, that, that group. Yeah, Tsonga, uh, Tsonga falls under what's uh, Mozambique language. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it goes that way. Okay. I'd say Chivenda maybe falls uh, together with Zim. Uh, what's that? Shona. Shona. Yeah, it might go together because there's some similar names. Okay. Yeah. Your name is... Uh, Typed T A T A. Did you say T S? <laughs> no, I'm thinking of my uh, the other name. Yeah, T A T A L I F H A N I. T A L I I F H Tali F H A Fani. Yes. Talifani. Talifani. You pronounce it? Um, Talifani. Tali. Ta. Ta. There's like a T H. Yeah, so the T has some, uh, what did you call those things under, under it? Some kapi mm. thing, it's yeah, called a kapi so in Afrikaans. So, it, so it's ta. That's why Africans people can say tali easy. It's it's not TH like the. No, it's T. It's ta. Yes. Ta. 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 Yes. Li. Yes. Pa. 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 Is it a P? F H A is um. It's like pa. It's like a PH. It's like you're breathing. Pa, yeah, it's like you pa. Yeah. Not pa. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ta, ta, talipani. Tari, talipani. 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 They're going to chow you, man. No, no, this is this is important. Look, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you need to understand, bro. I, mm. I come from the Zulu kingdom where yeah. <laughs> Zulus obviously think they run the country yeah. and they beat their chest. Oh, shaga. <clears throat> the reality is we don't have a sensitivity to each other. Mm. Just as black Africans. Mm. Say a lot there's about a colonizers. Yes. There's a co there's a problem within, and mm. we want or we desire for Europeans, Asians, and others to <clears throat> assimilate to us and to respect us and to take the time to try and understand us, but we're not willing to do the same yes, with each yes, other. Yes. So that was just a little oh, okay. social experiment and exercise, that. but it's it's for the audience to learn to respect that. Okay, because it took a while for me to know that Muvango is actually Mubango. Yes. I didn't know that. And it's like, we, there are so, there's so much we don't know. In Lesotho, the L is a D. Mm. So I'd say, oh, Limpo. They're like, no, that's Dimpo. You're like, oh, snap. <laughs> yes. And I think when the people also, they have the same problem because, um, you know, when I hear Tswana saying, um, uh, you know, in Tswana, they talk in L. It's like, uh, uh, Lee, Lee, no, or something. Sure. But in Venda, you, you know, they, when they are transferring it back, they will say, Ki, Kima Venda, mm. you know? And in Chivenda, it comes off wrong. So they will be, hey, they will take it wrong. But it's it's just their translation. Okay? Yeah. Mm. We we need to take time to get to know yeah. each other. Because, I mean, we, we talk about diversity and the beauty of it. Mm. And I think when you learn a language, a couple of things happen. Number one, um, something happens to your body and your face. Because mm. you're training your... your yeah, 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 yeah. You're saying something foreign. Mm. Uh, the more important thing is you, you get to connect with people. Mm. So I go to Louis Trichard and now if I can pronounce a name better, mm. correctly, the person already has some level of, oh, I think I'll listen to this guy because yeah. he might not even be from here. Yeah. And understanding and mastering language is a gateway to culture, story. To connect. To connect. Every time when I'm in a different country in the continent, I learn the language. Yeah. And, and I mean, I've been learning languages. Thank you so much. Your surname? Um, Mama Apa. Mama Apa. Mm. Same, F-H-A. Mama Apa. Mama Apa. Mm. You, you go as uh, Taripani Banks. Mm. Where does the banks come from? I used to bank numbers back then. Boom. Boom. A plus, brother. 
A plus in that class. Oh, you're starting to own the smartness now. No, no, no. Only that. In, <laughs> in English, I get one. Or, I'm just saying. Like, you know what I mean? Sure. Um, only maths. That's the only thing I could understand. And I used to understand maths beyond just solving for X. Maths in solving a problem. Mm. You know, I got into business back in the days helping my mother to afford bills. Mm. You know, that's how I got to do business. So in my mind, maths is a way of solving any problem. I can solve any discipline of problems. Your language of preference is numbers. Yes. And I or at least it's one, of, it's one of the languages you have mastered. Yes. Uh, in anything that I'm doing, if I don't understand it, it has to come in a numbers way. I will, I will get it. What, what do numbers and maths mean to you? I mean, I just need to let people know that you arrived here early. <laughs> Which becomes a joke because we speak about African time and yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we said half past and I said I would be here quarter two. Yeah, I, w- I was I was thinking maybe at the time I thought maybe traffic will, will give me problems, but was for the for the fact that you said that already I understand that you do respect numbers because mm-hmm. you already I, preempt I'm, him. Yes, and you're saying look, hundred percent. Where is this place based? Let me calculate. Yes. Let me buffer <laughs> yes. in some time for yes. And you arrived early, so I'm just mm. saying clearly you have a respect for numbers, not just money. Mm. Numbers. So I'm asking, what do numbers and, and maths just generally mean to you? Uh, numbers, uh, there's different formulas. There's different um, different formulas you can use in different situations. If you are solving something related to law, you would apply different models. If you are applying something to understand the future or predicting the future, you would use maybe sequence and series. But you, if you want to understand like... Uh, um, what is this? Like, uh, I used to be able to ex- explain this, like time series, like things that I, you want to ex- make it easy for somebody to understand. You'll use the different model. So this different, you always have to pick up different models to make sense of that mm. solution. Yeah. That's it. There's so many things I can say. Um, um, numbers is a discipline you use to solve different problems. All, all discipline yeah. from whether it's law, engineering, they're all around numbers. I'm sorry. I think I wanted like a philosophical answer and I apologize. No, but, um, I, mm. in, in my journey studying money and learning about money, mm. um, I think it was kicked off by Robert Kiyosaki and Rich Dad Poor Dad. Mm. It opened me to a full world where I ended up reading almost all the business books. One of my favorite being The Ascent of Money by Neil Ferguson. Okay. Met a lot of business people from different races, different nationalities. Um in particular, the people that have fascinated me the most are Jewish people. Okay. They seem yeah, to be really way. good at, at the money game, etc. And most of the Jewish business people I've met that are successful speak about obsession. Mm-hmm. They speak about obsessing with your business, okay. understanding your competitors better than they know themselves. Mm. I remember speaking to the founder and CEO of Taste Holdings, Carlo Gonzaga, and he was explaining how obsessed they are with a slice of lemon they put in water must be, I don't know if he was saying something millimeters. And I know how much a serviette costs, how much a straw costs. You need to be obsessed with your numbers. Mm -hmm. Um, And now I juxtapose that with an African way of living, which is flowing with nature. Mm -hmm. You know, we we Mm -hmm. are meant to wake up when the sun rises. Uh, We we go to sleep when the sun goes down. Mm -hmm. We flow with nature. Mm -hmm. But in a capitalist business world, Understanding numbers of which people constructed months, calendars, time, 24 hours, minutes, 60 seconds. And then you look at the money game. It looks like the people that have mastered the money game are people that have a serious respect for numbers, time, dates. Uh, how much is this? Whereas you're like, no, man, it's just, you can just, you're like, no, I, I need to know the exact. The fundamentals, yeah. If you throw me off, um, and they use numbers. I remember Kanye West speaking about him. I think he said he thinks or he sees in music. I think it was in music. He sees in colors or what? And, oh, yeah. and I've heard people speak about they see in colors. So I was just wondering if... Sees in 3D. When, when you hear about load shedding, potholes, the country, if you're like, there are numbers that can solve these things. Uh, I, I, did, I did accounting and economics. So I also did stats. Okay, nice. One... Economics, not econometrics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I was, I was also a, a data analyst. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at EPSA, well so I, I, have oh, nice, a, nice. I have a respect of sorts. Uh, <laughs> nice, nice. Well done. Well with, done. with your, <laughs> with your <laughs> field. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I just wanted to hear your thoughts around that. Um, I don't know if you want to add anything else because 
I'd like to go into how you founded your company. Okay. Um, you know, the, the, in, in what you were saying, I was trying to pick up the key points. How is that? How long? How long is this one? And mm. how do you solve this? And uh, I feel like some problems can be solved, you know, but you don't have the right people to solve it. Mm. They don't. How, how do you expect a person who don't know there's a problem to solve the problem? Jeez. You see, and that's the reason why when it comes to my business, why you don't see us in public sector. I want to. But there's so many. It's like people. It's like wolves waiting for you. Hundred like, uh, percent. The reason why, I, I, brother, I, I, every time I see it, I see it, and I know what to do. But there are some environments where I don't have to. I don't have to go for now. Maybe later I would. Maybe when I've built the reputation. Um, but every time I hear things like that, SCOM, things that can be solved. You can mm-hmm. just put structure. You put systems in place. You can solve it. Um, yeah, but I try not to get go that deep. Your, your business solves problems. Mm. And you're saying you have an issue with currently working for the public sector because the people there are not trying to solve problems. And maybe they don't even know that problems one, exist. One of the problem is having somebody who come in the whole day just to capture, just to, just to type. I know that you are thinking we are going to replace you. But digitally, there's a system that you're going to be using that is going to optimize even the way you work. You are going to be able to do other things even better. But if you leave you on capturing and writing a, a registra- register every day that you're not even going to go back to. Mm. Um, do you like technology? 100%. I'm asking this because I want to ask, I get frustrated. With do you time. get frustrated when you walk into government departments, courts, and you see boxes and boxes and files and files Papers that are fading. Yeah, it, you know what? Because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a data scientist also, it tells me that you are not going to even spend time to go back in any of those files. So some of those files, in fact, anybody can come and steal them. Mm. So it's, whatever I'm seeing there is not safe. And it tells me that a lot about you that you don't know what you're doing within your own sector. Mm. So when I see it, I look at it, I'm like, let's give it time. But I recognize it. Let's speak about how you started your company. Yeah. Uh, because one of the things I said, I think before we started filming, is your rise has almost been as uh, accelerated as it by to any trip. And normally when that happens, people like myself, I'm a mm. healthy skeptic. Mm. Other people who are serious pessimists will be like, ah, there's a... There's a there's a force here. <laughs> Penal show is captured. <laughs> it's obviously funded by rich white people. What do you think? What do you think, brother? When you just, your opinion, what would you say when you look at me? Must I give my opinion on what people think? Your opinion. So I've gone through your profile and I've watched a lot of your content. There's mm. a there's a mate of mine, Utulani, uh, who mm. actually put me on you. Mm. I think it was last year. Mm. He's like, this guy is pretty sharp. I hope at some point you'll sit with him. Mm. I didn't know it would happen so quick. Mm. You seem very focused. Mm. You seem very sure. I think... I think you have a grand master plan mm. and I don't know if people are aware mm. and I know you're moving and I can see you're consuming and I can see you're analyzing. And I think there's a chance that if you succeed, you want to look like a overnight success that came out of nowhere, I but it will be like, this guy's put in the work. And when you guys start peeling the layers, you'll realize number one, he didn't need 30 years at MassMart to understand. He needed six months, 12 months. <laughs> he didn't need to be at AutoZone or pick and pay yeah. for... He, what, what, it's because you guys yes. are lazy. Yes. And it's because this guy was actually focused. And when he realized this is my thing, he found it. There's a guy, and I don't know if we'll speak about him at some point. Yeah. I'd like to sit down with him. His name is Zibusi Som Kwanazi. Yeah, yeah. I, he's a good friend. He's I'll, built a, yeah. an amazing business that is not known yeah. by the average person. Yes. But that is so influential. It um, the day maybe he gets, we are told this guy's a billionaire. Yeah, yeah. Everyone will be like, who's this? And I'll be like, let's peel the layers because there's a story here yeah. that I wish you guys knew. So th- that's my feel. 100%. Yeah. I think I connect 100%. It's exactly that. Um, I'm not an overnight success. I've been in the game, but it might look like that. I'm aware of that it will look like that. Mm. Um <clears throat> Brother, I'm, I'm starting to preach at 14 uh, back at Louis Trichard. I'm reading the Bible throughout. And when I'm preaching, I have to be understanding the content. I learned there that faith without deeds is dead. And sure, I'm learning a lot about 
applying the principles of spirituality. So when I come back to knowledge and when I'm at university, I'm coming across Steve Jobs, this interview at Harvard, uh, um, Stanford, and he's saying, I'm sure you've watched it. Have you watched it? I, I hope so. I've seen a lot of his clips. I don't powerful. know exactly where it's they the, are. It's, it's the only powerful, one of the first. Oh, powerful. is it at graduation? Yes. Yes, sorry. I have seen it. That video, I've, I watched it on my first year. When I saw that, I was like, I understand what this guy is saying. So I'm a build up of that. And, and when I'm listening to your podcast, you're talking Les Brown, Eric Thomas. I'm on it. I'm consuming these things. But I'm not just reading academic books. Mm. I'm reading everything that I'm coming across. I, I was listening to you and the guy was saying, he was, um, he was saying that um, he grew up in the library. He's, you know, mm. he was saying that after school, he would stay in the library until they can yeah. pick him up. It's the same thing for me from high school, from back at home. I'm not spending time with anyone. I'm in the library. So I'm reading different books. Now I'm a build up of that information. You're, you're a loser. I call people like yeah, us yeah, losers, I'm, by the way. 100%. Se serious nerds. The stupid ones. Could have been Miles Berger. It could have been Zimasa Vabaza. Because I, I, I the, meet like-minded yeah, losers yeah, yeah, yeah. who are addicted to downloading to information, downloading. analyzing it, trying yeah, to yeah. use it. There, there's something, uh, this guy that um, actually, um, that podcast that you recommended and I was watching it. And he was saying that, um, there's some, they said a lot of pow powerful things, but... Um, a lot of things that I pick up and I resonate with mm. um, that I looked at and I'm like, okay, what he's saying is true. And we need to we need to understand who we are and things like that. Mm. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not an overnight success. Uh, I've been building up the knowledge since back in the days and after university. When I got to corporate, my job was to download as much to understand the whole blueprint of business. Um, when I got to pick and pay, I had a chance to be mentored by Ackerman. Raymond Eckerman, Raymond the founder Eckerman. of Pick and Pay. Hundred percent. When he touched me, I felt like God was touching me. I, I'm just saying. I felt like I felt like um, spirit was passing. Can I say something? Uh -huh. um, I know you're very religious. 100%. God, God is King. Yes. Um, I put it on the wall. Yeah. And if I were to say a line like that, I know people would get angry. Yeah. What do you mean? It felt like God was touching you. For, for religious people, spiritual people, they understand that God works in certain ways. Hundreds. And Raymond Eckerman may be a God of retail. He's not necessarily a God, but for your journey, it becomes a God moment where God is speaking through him to say you're on the right path. I'm, I'm, I like that you're simplifying it because people might um, take the context wrong. Yeah. What I'm saying is there are people who are called. There are people whose lives and dreams are connected to yours and they are called to be. So because they are carrying that spirit, when they meet you, they can transfer it. I connected with his route. Yeah. And after meeting him and the blueprint he has shared, I sat down and I said, I think I've got it. I think I know what to do. And now I'm starting this business 2017. I've got the downloads. I've got the downloads. And even before starting 2017, I was helping some of the artists that are now international artists through the blueprint that I built. It's not artists, just one. Musicians. Yes. Hectic. Not just one, brother. I've done, and people know this. Mm. Um, people who are close to me know this. Yeah. Uh, but if I've done it and I've proven, and I'm now incorporating, I've proven that it can be done. Now I'm sitting with the CEO of AutoZone and my models are working across 250 stores. I can do this thing. So, 200, uh, so 2017, I'm starting knowing that. Mm. And the only thing I'm trying to do, the reason why analytics advertising took so long to take off in term, in people's mind yeah. is because I'm trying to find a category that makes us first, that makes us first. Certain things that I know that I, I can't explain them easy, but what I'm trying to say is in a in a car industry, they are all cars, but some people say ours is, a, is the safest car. 100%. I they know say, which car you're talking about. Yes. Uh, the others say ours is a standard car. Yeah. It's an A to B. Others say ours is premium. What they are trying to say is they are trying to find a category that makes them different. Yeah, I've been trying to find something, a category that will make me different. A niche. A niche. Yeah. And when I say we are a data technology company, do you know any and how many that you know of black data technologies that have been emerging from the continent that are standing out and shouting the name in globally? Mm. There hasn't been. Oh, they are there, but... I'm just trying to say that. No, I people don't know. If you were like, give me one, yes, three, five. It's like 100%. The first question would be like, what's data technology? Yes. 
So how am I finding this? If um, how am I? How is it making sense now? Because I started talking about this 2017. Mm. All I was doing was crafting it, and the idea was not to target B to C, like, and everyone, individuals, people, mm. was to target B to B, because all my knowledge I've acquired it to use it in systems that are already stable. Like you've done economics, ceteris paribus. Some of the models are ceteris paribus is Latin for. For with, everything, with everything else remaining the same, same. we'll change something provided everything else stays the same. If this company is going to move like this and this is going to move like this, I know how to build the model. Uh, so I build it B2B, mm -hmm. knowing that that will remain the same. After sure. it's going to be like that. That one is going to be like, even if they make noise, it's going to be like this. Yeah. So that is easy for me to solve. That's why I went that road. And my model was never to be on people's faces. I was not targeting individuals. My service was to build a system for a large corporation. How do you, just imagine somebody like me, younger than me, but me, who's building a technology for a company like PPC Cement, not just South Africa alone. Mm. How do, what am I saying to that company? What am I saying to them? Do, if you're building a technology that is going to be used by this top level company, what are you saying to them? So I had to build a model that would work and mm -hmm. even if it was failing in the beginning or tr taking me time to, to get it right, it was a model targeting them. So that model started working in corporates and I started building technologies for a lot of large corporations that even now when people are recognizing me now, I'm no longer even running that company. I don't have to be in it. Look, let's take a step back because yeah. Yeah, this can get complicated very quickly. Yeah. Statistics uh, yeah. for people that may not understand is... I'm sure there's a proper definition, but it's 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 data, it's numbers, it's the studying, I guess some kind of analysis, collecting. It's, it's the, the collecting of, of numbers, maybe. Yeah, it's the study of um, collecting numbers and sure. analyzing them to make sense, a study of making sense of sure. numbers. Yeah, whether um, it's categorical or numerical data. So those numbers is data. Yes. Data is information. It's yeah. numbers. It's can okay. be words, can be numbers, yeah. Can be words, can be numbers. Mm -hmm. Um, data analytics is where you take the numbers, the words, and you look at them and you're trying to maybe make a system better, more profitable, lower the costs. What are we missing? What are we doing wrong? I don't know if that's yeah, correct. hundred yeah. percent. But data science is more broad. Data, data analytics is exactly that, collecting okay. numbers, um, putting them in the sample size, analyzing them and make a decision. Sure. Data science is applying other disciplines like computer coding, robotics, AI, machine learning, and put it into together, okay. collecting this number to be auto-generated. So you can make sense of the insights. That's why now, can you collect data coming from Google, brother? It's too many. But you can use AI models, you can use machine learning models mm -hmm. to run in the back end to make sense of the results and get average uh, insights on them. That's data science. You work in data science, mm. which is bigger than data analytics because it brings yes. in other disciplines. Yes. I'm trying to figure out, are you a systems expert? Are you the type of person who comes into a company and says, I have built this model. It is mine. It's my IP, my intellectual property. And when I come in and I implement it, you will maybe either make more money, cut down on costs, make things more efficient, or... Is it in some way marketing related where you're like, I will help you reach more customers? Or because Something you speak like about that. niche, so Something I'm trying like to figure that. out okay, what is your... Okay, let me, let, me, let me break it down. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I, I can see you're trying to take No, 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 I'm, I'm only doing this because <laughs> yeah. we're going to have a conversation about niche and okay. data analytics and data science, and we might miss a lot of people. So I wanted yes. to bring it back to stats. Mm. Stats SA, which collects... <laughs> And then take it to data I, analytics I, where you take the data, you look at it, oh, and then you put graphs. Yeah. And then from there, you bring in data science. How mm. do we collect this data using Twitter, Facebook, you yeah. know, home affairs? It's, and then from there. Yes, sure. 100%. So, uh, yes, and. So I agree that we are a company that would have a system and would recommend a system. Okay. But we try not to approach the market like that. Internally, we are a team of software developers, data engineers, data scientists and marketers in analytics advertising please Some, slow that down slow that down sorry software developers is the guys who do coding the guys coding. who code yeah okay so uh, building websites 
building website apps. systems crms okay. apps yeah. online systems yeah software development the yeah. next one you said is data engineers yes data engineers they mine they they connect systems from software to mine data That's yeah, because you, you speak about, about mining data, and people don't know what that is. Well, some are learning with mining cryptos. Yes, they they. What is what is mining data? Um, you want to build. Uh, let's say there's something you've heard about cloud computing. Yeah, it's an online auto-generated systems that you use to mine inform to collect information from mm. systems. So when you when we saying you are mining information, you are collecting information from the system. Okay. And the system can be easy. It can be people just registering here. But sure. the more people register, that's like you are mining the information okay. of people. And the 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 data engineers, all they are doing, they are pre- building pipelines. They, they call it ETL. Okay. Extract, transform, load. Okay. <laughs> You're trying to build an a, a bucket. Okay. That will store the information that you extracted, so that the analyst can be able to analyze it and pick it up and say, "Oh, I want to create this relationship, this correlation between this and that." Yeah. But they are finding the information well structured by data engineers. I love this. There's a there's a story. I'm sorry to deviate a little mm-hmm. bit. There's a story which is one of my favorites. I stole it, I reworked it, I put it in one of the books I've written, of a boy from a village where every day they have to go and fetch water in a bucket. Mm. Uh, <laughs> to, to bring it to the village and over time um the person with the biggest bucket the person with the most donkeys that can carry water becomes wealthy because they have the water and this young boy realizes the system doesn't work and he stops collecting water for maybe six months and everyone's like this boy is lazy uh he's useless he doesn't fetch water but yeah. in the time he was building, he was building pipes uh to the river so that he could I have a tap that. I res- <laughs> and once he Built that tap, he became the mayor and the wealthiest That's person in the do, village. Guys. That's what we do. So data engineers do that for yes. data. They pull pipelines yes. using ETL, yes. collect it in a bucket. Okay. And then the data scientists categorize the water as it comes. Okay. They categorize in different dams, in different buckets. Beautiful. Yes. And then you said you guys do marketing. Then we do uh, marketing. For some companies, they might say, they might end there and say, we've built the systems is enough for us to we make, we understand it. We'll pass it on internally to our marketing team or to what you, the guy you've mentioned previously who mm. deals with marketing, they can do that. Sure. If they say they want us to run it, it makes it easier because we already understand the insights. Mm. So we'll draw a, a plan how to structure this marketing. A structured, proper, targeted marketing means that you can calculate everything before you go out and you can estimate how much budget you're going to put in and what's the return on investment. That's why when I see uh, marketing without knowledge, I see it, brother. I see it. And and I I know where it's coming from. It's coming from the fact that we've seen movies saying that uh, we should always invest in marketing, but it's not just marketing. Okay. We, you need to have science behind. There's science behind marketing. That's why marketing now, it runs on data any marketing without data science just know it's not the right one they don't know what they're doing because how do you market to a person that you don't know individually back yes. in the days we used to see 10 of us watching tv yeah uh, advert for rama coming out mm. you hope that we're gonna go back sure. today you know who's watching the rama advert because it's individually categorized it's on internet ish Are we skipping a lot of stages? When I was in peak and pay, when I was a uh, pricing analyst, I used to work with marketing team. And one of my job is to know that I'm going to get two million from for Coca-Cola that I'm going to put on marketing. Mm-hmm. And this is how much I'm expecting back from TV ads, leaflet and what, what, what. So when I'm coming back here and I'm saying that I'm building a digital company that is going to target individual, it's going to be a system that understand individual identity. I'm saying that I now understand each cate- each person So I now have to do targeted advertising for this person. And in the modern day advertising, I have to retain the audience that I'm targeting to. I need to bring I need to the investment that I'm putting out, I need to bring it back. That's what that's what you call art. You're making me think about so many things that I worry about. Um Google is one of my favorite companies in the world, if not my favorite. Yeah. At the same time, I believe it is the company that probably violates privacy the most. Um, and for some weird reason, I don't know what it is. Maybe it is partly owned by the American government. Maybe it is infiltrated by the CIA, probably. Um, Google doesn't take hits like Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg. Like maybe now Twitter and Elon Musk. What happened with um, the CEO of TikTok and them? Yes, yeah. Google <laughs> literally listens to us, puts 100%. things together, shifts 100%. sells data doesn't really ask for our consent 
But now I'm thinking in the work you're doing, my brother has spoken because I think he's in the media space now. He used to be a, a teacher. Okay. The guys come from education. Ah, nice. Teachers are going into dark spaces. Uh. Um, would you, and maybe it's better if I ask you, would you prefer living in a surveillance state mm. considering the work you do? Because in a surveillance state, assuming you have access to information, that means you know exactly where I am all the time. If I'm in the toilet, you can blast a toilet paper ad. When I'm up, like I'm about to lift a loaf of bread, you blast a Rama ad. No, would you I'd, prefer I'd, living in that? And if no. if not, because mm. I, I think mm. it would make your life easier. Yeah. Because you guys currently have to go and mine. You almost have to steal and figure out where I am and what I'm, versus knowing exactly. Mm. Uh, would you support that? And if not, why would you not support that? I, I think it, it takes away your freedom. It's not a right thing to do. We should uh, allow people to be, you know. And um, but that's just a nice thing to say. Do you really believe that? Hundred percent. We don't have freedom strongly, currently. Strongly understand. St strongly believe in that. But we don't have freedom currently. Um, in what sense? What do you mean? Like there are people. I know this phone is listening to me now. I know it's listening to us now. But you've got the ability to switch it off. The, the other thing is we don't know how to use this technology. That's the another. It's thing. done intentionally. They, yeah, intentionally. So they we don't, don't have freedom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You and I might know. Yeah, yeah. The average person doesn't, so they're doesn't. not free. Yes, um, which is a problem uh, because then it says that you're exploiting your your. You don't have principles. You're exploiting whatever rights you have with the technology you've built. But I think we should give people um, freedom to be and to make choices. Uh, when I'm talking about using data science to to know who's the customer, I'm trying to say that uh, where the customer is and where they are allowing us to get their information, let's find them there. Back in the days, you used to find us on TV, even if you just didn't know all of us individually, but that's where you used to access us. If now you can access us on, on social media, even if it's not full information about me, that's where we will reach you. I'm just trying to find a platform that allows us to reach a customer without us going deep into understanding their everything about them. Wouldn't you prefer that? And I wouldn't. I don't want to know your personal life, brother. Me, but that's how you can sell things that I need. Uh, you know what? Uh, as much as we can build these technologies, they need to be built with principles. B before technology is humans, mm. and you want to connect people with technology, mm. build it right, build it with principle. You don't want people to do things they don't want. And I wouldn't support things like that if you have to collect everything about this person whether they're sleeping you can see them whatever they're doing in the bathroom and i wouldn't be comfortable or i wouldn't be comfortable with that and i wouldn't like that technology um but you can use technology to your advantage on things that like you were saying when they were carrying buckets automating the processes of what we're already doing yeah. it shouldn't be there to be a civilian of what people are doing inside and you know what i mean yeah there's things that we can build now like um Understanding how much you spend, your utility, electricity, and how we can move this and that. I don't know if we want to get to that level. That's even much better. But I feel like even that type of technology will even take you inside to see what else are, do, are they doing. That's why mm -hmm. I try not to go in that level. But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like that technology. How easy was it to, from conceptualization of your business to actually implementing it, building a team to what it is now? Um, so you, where we are now, we are a group called Analytics X, and a group called Analytics X, Analytics Advertising has emerged to be a medium enterprise. But there's other four individual entities that are also. When you say group, this is your company. This is my company. It's called Analytics X. Okay. Um, so conceptualizing it to this level, um, depression, brother, anxiety to do this, and I know that uh, people when they look at me now, they feel like. Oh, this guy is so simple, man. He makes things so easy to. Mm. I've walked the tunnel, bro, to to make it so easy for an average person. My father works in my company in analytics advertising. That's beautiful. Congrats, but he, by the way. But he understand what I'm doing. He understand the principle of what I'm doing there. Mm. And I'm not. I don't have to be in that office because they're already running, and my wife is running it. But I don't have to be because the process and the principles are the same, and they're. Things, you know what I mean. Congrats, by the way, for also working with your wife. Yes. Um, but the whole architecture to build it like this was to also, um, the, the deepest thing was to help my father because he was going on pension and used to complain a lot about this thing. He didn't have a solution. Yeah. I didn't have. And I told him that I'm going to uh, leave corporate because I'm, I think that I've got a model. Mm. 
for you. And now he lives in the property that I used to live in when I was working in corporate. So I've achieved in that level. You've done really well, bro. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah, but to build the whole model, to build it to what it is now and looking at analytics, advertising, eight times award-winning company, um, somebody looks at it and say, ah, that was easy, right? And then mm. you got your way easier. Mm. But it's been too much crafting the word, uh, the work. Brother. And if I'm going to build an architecture for a large corporation, and sometimes when I was building this, I didn't have the technology guys that I have now. Mm. These guys are smart guys, but I didn't have them. Yeah. They came and found the architecture, some of them. Who's building that architecture? I had to craft my brain to do this. And I didn't have to have people know that I'm crafting the, the architecture because yeah. I'm not, they're not my target market. And even when it was working, I didn't have to come back to people and say, I'm doing well now. I continued building and I continue maintaining. Mm -hmm. And now when we have hired all these young professionals from vets, UCT, tax, and all, it's because the system works and they can make sense of it. It's a big problem to solve that they, it consumes them. Yeah. And I might not get credit for what I've created and people might mistake my confidence for arrogance. But what I'm saying is for me to get to a level where I build an architecture or a foundation that will help so many young innovators, who, not just in South Africa, in Botswana, in Zimbabwe, in Rwanda, mm. in, in Ethiopia now, mm. it says a lot about the creativity in my mind. Yeah. And now I'm saying I'm no longer working in this company. My wife can run it. She's a data scientist. I'm going to create other companies that will help many more young innovators have a platform. Because my biggest problem now is unemployment. And that's why you see me running on Spaza Eats, which is a food delivery platform that I'm assuming, I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to make probably more than 1,000 jobs by end of 2024 Jeez. through deliveries. And I say this, there's a lady that I was telling her that I'm going to do 1,000 jobs by, uh, and then she says, you don't just say things. You don't just say things. Speak, you know, you must speak facts. Brother, I know what I'm saying. She didn't believe you. No, I, I know where they're talking from. They're talking from corporate mindset that uh, people just speak. You know? Unrealistic. Yes, yes. And even when I started, a lot of people told me, you, you think you're mad, man. Who, who does that? Mm. So I'm aware of that. But I'm not living a normal life. I'm living a spiritual life. I see it. I see it first. Spiritually, I see it. When I go, when I start talking about it, it's already confirmed. Mm. So now when I'm saying 1,000 jobs with Spaza Aids um, or with that technology, I'm, 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 I have a knowing that this technology can go national and a lot of people will benefit from it and become um, well, well, um, they, and they start affording their families with it. You know what I mean? Because I've mm -hmm. done it before. I've got a company that is sustainable. If I'm able to hire people who are able to buy houses that have corporate companies, people staying in, isn't, mm -hmm. that, isn't that a solve? Jeez, if if I can have my father who's, who's a pensioner staying with you who's an accountant, mm -hmm. is that, isn't that a solve? So I'm saying that now my new journey is to help create and uh, jobs because the modern day jobs are not the same as the old ones. That's why I've got Spaza Eats and I've got Jammy Trade. Jammy Trade is a continental trade platform. Um, and I know it's going to take Please some. Please say that name again. Jammy Trade. Jammy. Jammy. So J A? J A M I I? T M I I. T R A. Trade. Okay. Uh, Jami is a, is a Swahili word meaning community. Mm. So I'm building a community of traders. Okay. And in that trade is a combination of uh, LinkedIn and Alibaba. You can network across the continent. You can network with each other and also trade. Mm. So we, when we roll out now, uh, we're rolling out as a network platform just to have people con to be comfortable because you know um, people are still, a lot of people are still brainwashed. Let me be honest. Sure. Still don't understand that Zimbabwe was never your enemy, it's your neighbor. Mm. 54 rooms in one house. You need to understand that Zimbabwe, Rwanda, Botswana is your The neighbor. 54 rooms in one house is you speaking about it's the African Africa. continent, yeah, that we are one house 100%. and the 54 rooms 100%. are the different countries. Sure. It has always been like that. But there are people who don't understand it, that somebody coming from another room that was next door to yours mm. is an enemy just because he was ne next door. Sure. So the, the Jami trade has to start with networking just to allow people to connect with each other. Yeah. And, and, and in six months, um, we're looking at January, we'll be then going to MVP2 where we are now allowing people to trade. We can start with trading now. What's MVP2? Um, within Jami Trade is to yes. allow, the MVP2 is to, it's the next level where it allows you to, to start trading, like becomes the e commerce. The next phase. Yes, the next phase. The, okay. Yes. It allows you to trade and, and, and do all of that. Okay. And there's another uh, company that I'm doing on, 
MSTE learning is from grade 10 to grade 12. MSTE, STEM. <laughs> STEM subjects. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this system is for, is for STEM subjects, for math, science, and technology, for, for students who are studying those subjects to be able to do the experiments, to be able to understand the knowledge, simplify mathematics, mm. simplify science, so they can understand. So we are about to roll out 2,000 schools in Eastern Cape. And, um, Jeez, congrats, bro. Mm, and and then we using it as a pilot. Then I've chat to all the min, to the ministers and uh, the MST leaders, all of them, nine province. And if they gave me access, I'm hoping in a year from now I'll be in across all nine provinces on that business. So how many people can I get there? And you're 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 cursed. Hundred percent. And I'm living you have too in many that demon. Ideas, yes. Um, not yeah. enough time. Yes. Not enough. Mm. How are you managing that? How are you managing all your ideas? Not enough time, not enough talent, gatekeepers standing in the way. Because I'm listening to you and I'm thinking, you're telling us just some of the things you're busy with, but I can only imagine you probably have another 50, 100, 200 ideas. That are unpacking, that are on the shelf. Uh. Um, we have to master collaboration. We have to start working together in the country and in the continent. Mm. There's so many smart people who have things on silos. They have solutions on silos. Yeah. But if you start connecting everyone, what you're doing is powerful, brother. What you're doing is powerful. And we need to recognize it as that. That is powerful because it gets the message across. Thank you. You know what I mean? And uh, an average person might not get it, but what it does is going to allow me to get the message across to that student who's going to spark the brain yeah. and become the, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> so there's so many people with solutions across the continent that if you can start collaborating and they can start seeing how we can work, we can build powerful solutions. Mm. Even in the team, there's so many young, motivated powerful um, kids who have graduated cum laude who are ready to make impact how do you create a platform for them because they've got a they've got all ideas and solutions yeah. to solve create a platform that will allow them to be and become successful through it it just have to be right do you think in future you'll be working in government i don't know i don't at that level of solving problems I might go teach. I might go teach. Um, I might resign somewhere in um, 10, 15 years from now and just be a teacher or a lecturer. Um, to a small group. To a small group. But My, that's, that's stingy. No, no, no. You know this. And you've got technology. You can reach more people. Yeah, yeah I can reach more people through through technology. Yeah. I can, but I'm, I'm saying that um, I can teach to that group while recording or whatever, okay. like the STEM. And, uh, okay. My thing is, my my knowledge is not for it's not for everyone. Um, I came across that it's not for everyone. Okay. It's for the selected few. Okay. Few people can hear me. Uh, some people think this guy is stupid, man. I've never watched a dumb guy. Um, and I accept it. I'm a crazy guy. That's why crazy guy does things that I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Steve Jobs, boy, stay hungry, stay foolish. Stay that's, hungry. That's from that speech. A hundred percent. Yeah. So I have accepted that um, title. I'm a mad person, stupid, but I'm stupid in the vision. Um, and flexible on details. So I will be awakened to know how to move. But um, I know that my life and what I'm doing is not that simple and not easy for not easy for an average person to understand me. But um, I'm no longer trying to get people to understand me. I'm yeah. just going to use the solution and what I'm doing to be the reason, to be the answer for me. Because I can't sit here and explain to you calculus if you're an average person. There's some guy that I was listening to, he said, I don't understand what he does. Man. I don't understand what he does. Then when I go check him, he didn't pass me a trick. He didn't pass me a trick. You can't understand what I do, brother. I, I'm working in a corporate of smart people and I'm building a technology that already they had smart people mm. who couldn't build it, but I'm building it. You're making me think of a couple of things. The first thing, just on the last point you made was, I still am in denial, but I need to begin accepting that the masses of people not just in this country, but around the world, yeah. will always follow whatever the people who designed the system say. We don't speak English because we voted for it. Yeah. We don't speak English because it was cool. Mm. We vote English because, or we speak English because the people who controlled and built the systems built it on English. Yes. And the big fight for those of us who are visionaries, who want to build, who are innovating, is not necessarily to try and convince the masses. Mm. The masses will follow whatever system you give them mm. if it serves their basic needs, yes. etc. So the fight becomes schools. Ah, none of the schools teach indigenous languages. Stop tweeting, stop making noise, stop shouting at the politicians, go and build the schools. 100%. And then get those schools to compete 
100 with the incumbents and prove that if you learn this is one of the reasons why i support I like the public forum and yeah. soltek are doing uh. they can fight the english battle mm. they can fight indigenous languages mm. or they can be like we'll build a private afrikaans institution mm. and not only will we build it but we can tell people that the kids that graduate here mm. black white indian mm. as long as they learn in afrikaans as a language mm. they will go and get jobs because mm. it's skills it's so good. that's a system mm. fighting a system mm. um so that's the first important thing to what you're saying about i will not be understood by the average because unfortunately my fight is at a higher level yes. i'm not saying i'm smarter than you mm. I'm just saying what you're fighting for <laughs> my child why are they not learning this at school I'm not fighting that I am fighting to build schools to recreate the history um type of situation that's that's the first thing I'm thinking about and it's and it's fundamentally important and systems a bad system will always beat a good person yes 100% good people can come together yeah give nice speeches get people excited those people will leave that venue and go back into a system yeah so good people need to understand that talk come up with ideas but if you're not building yeah it the systems in, yes to fight Ooh. other systems i feel that brother come on man you're wasting on. time we can spend on how long have you been on twitter talking brother black twitter has been there it's a form when. of therapy by the way we talk and then we feel better yeah i told him do, do, do you know what, yeah, yeah 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 do you know what it is like um, i i grew up in a good family and we used to discuss and have sit around the fire or something like that and we just talking if it ends there not nothing is going to change you have to go to the field people have been talking forever that's why i'm not on twitter i'm not on twitter you're not, I'm not on, on twitter facebook. as a tech guy i'm not on facebook uh, but let me tell you why you're pumping on instagram though yes i'm trying <laughs> but let me tell you why maybe i will be but what i'm trying to do at the moment I'm not ready. I'm also in, still under incubation to come out. People my people some people might even attack me for yeah. saying what I'm saying. And they should cuz good leaders strong leaders get attacked. Get attacked. Yeah. So I'm I'm not in a good position right now. I'm still creating a system that hopefully works then we can start talking and yeah. we talk about why I've built it and all of that. Yeah. Because I'm the, as much as I get invited to speak, I'm not a speaker. I'm talking solution of what I've done. Sure. Yeah, and I'm putting myself. We are the answer to what God knew will be a problem in the modern day, and Africa is blessed with problems, and we are the solution. <laughs> Africa is blessed with problems. Yes, and we are the solution. I'm counting myself as one of the solution to the African continent. Yeah. So I'm not going to waste my time explaining to you that I'm the solution. Yeah. I'm going to be creating the solution. You can keep saying that I is stupid. It's fine and I accept it. But I'm saying that over time we will know who created the system that helped so many people. Mm. We will know who created an impact that changed the whole revolution. Because some of your yours, um, let me not say that. Maybe I'm not comfortable to say what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm involved my man I'm involved and I'm 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 helping people in the back end. Thank you so much. Yes. That I one of my big things mm. in the last few years is I just want to meet up with good people mm. that have a good heart and that are doing good, good intention. work. Good intention. Yes. Put race aside, put nationality aside, yes. put religious beliefs aside, cultural beliefs, nationality. Good person doing good work. Yes. You fall under my belief system of pluralism yeah. and and we can work together. 100% your the name of your company or your group i'm assuming that is still your analytics major x. cash cash cow mm. what's it called analytics x analytics x i'm asking this because would you like the average person to know this company and 100% like an apple 100%. like a google the the x analytics now. analytics x yeah, analytics, analytics x. x i want people to hear this name analytics x analytics x is exactly what i would like so many people to know because now it's a tech company when did you come up with the name sorry x the analytics x yeah two years ago but um analytics advertising and other individuals they've be, I've been building two like, years ago yeah then how, d- how did you feel when you heard elon musk is going to be changing his twitter's name um i don't I, know if you heard i, I didn't even know yeah uh, let me i'm going to tell you now is changing uh, it to what <laughs> I'm going to tell you now Elon Musk new Twitter what's it called wow new Twitter company something like that it's always tricky on how to search on Google 
I didn't know that. So Twitter is going to rebrand and it's going to be called X. Serious? Yeah. So when he announced it, he said, uh, we've just <laughs> found a new CEO for X. Wow. Uh, and, and Twitter, and Twitter is going to be... company X, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't hear about that? No, 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 no. I haven't. That's part of the prophecy, right? Yeah, yeah. It's part of the pro. You know what? Um, I can say this. It's just that, man, I've been speaking like the Joseph back in the days, man. Some of the things I speak, they're going to happen. They're already happening. Are you a prophet? I am. Are you a prophet that doesn't just prophesy, but you I create yes. your prophecy? Yes. When I when I meet prophets, they cry, brother. Uh, first time when I met a prophet, I didn't believe in prophets and prophecy. Yeah. First time was in 2014, and this guy is praying for me. He's telling me how my future is going to be. He first started telling me about what I used to do. <laughs> After that, I knew that I'm one of the God-sent ones. I need to be careful. You know, I need to move right. Everything I do, you won't hear that what I've done, what have I done wrong in my journey, six years of running business. You won't hear this guy have done. No, because there's nothing. Spiritual journey. And all I've been doing was praying for people, helping people cross, and helping people to become better. Anybody who comes close to me and becomes successful, I'm aware of why that is. Because I've got the light in me. I've got it. And I've preached things that have become a reality. I've helped individual people become successful. If I didn't have the light in me, how is it that they are penetrating global lights that we never thought, you know? You're not comfortable to say how much Analytics X turns over? Yeah, I'm You'll not. You'll be forced when you guys get listed and we buy shares. I was a but you're not I comfortable now? I was a JSC. Um, not yet, um, because the analytics advertising on what it's doing is working with a lot of large co uh, large corporations, and there's a lot of confidentiality when we do in the works. Yeah, um, maybe in other companies, then I would be comfortable in the future. But at the moment, um, yeah, let's just say we're still crafting, we're still building. Yeah. Okay, you were saying you were at the JC. Yeah, yeah, but uh, for Jamie Trade, I'm trying to get um, um, African investors to invest in it. I, I was approached by a European investor to invest in Jamie Trade. And we said that um, the idea of Jamie Trade is to have continental traders and to let it be owned by entrepreneurs and African entrepreneurs. And that's the vision. I don't know if I will get tired on that. But is it is it realistic? I don't know. There's money here in, in the continent. No, no, no. I mean, is it realistic to specifically want an African investor and not be not not be comfortable to have foreign investors for now? Um, let me say this for Jamie Trade, hundred percent realistic because yeah. the solution works. If if you are selling avocados and somebody in Zimbabwe is looking for avocados, that's a transaction, easy mm -hmm. move. We can build on that. Yeah. But for X, Analytics X, oh, actually I've been approached for analytics advertising by an international company. And I had to make a decision. But my answer is always no for some reason. Then I will think about it. But I've been approached by top level companies about four. So I, I know why the answer is no. Um, mm. Mark Zuckerberg was asked about stepping away from Facebook and selling mm. it. And his answer was, I don't know if I'll have an idea as transformational as this mm. and as big as this mm. and until i tire or until i find it i would like to be here and i mm. think you've got a vision and you aren't at a place yet where you are comfortable to let it go 100%. or that it, you're like even if we don't make money i'm still <clears throat> enjoying it 100 percent. um i was asking with with jammy trade not the traders okay so the traders we definitely need not just jammy trade but probably a whole lot more platforms locally mm. locally continental where we can mm. trade with each other mm. And money platforms yes. and payment platforms. Like, best, uh, like uh, if if Google. not payment, maybe no. It's a conversation for another. Yeah, day. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, payment gateways. We need them. Continental I, ones. I was I was asking about investors in particular mm. because you said you've had a potential European investor. Now, for people that maybe don't understand, the platform, Jamie Trade is like a mini Alibaba OLX country for the continent. Nigerians, South Africans, Egyptians. Senegalese are trading, selling to each other, etc. Africans trading with each other, making money with each other. The investor becomes a 50% equity owner in the platform, which means any profits made it's are now up. going to Switzerland, to Argentina, to wherever. And you're saying you'd prefer an African investor. And I'm asking you, do you think it's realistic? And there's a reason why I'm asking, because sometimes when I advise people, about the way we move or the way we criticize. Uh, 
I was listening to uh, Dali Pani speaking <laughs> about analytics X, speaking about Jamie Trade. All of a sudden, he's partnered with a Spanish investor. This guy's selling out. In and it. I'm like, mm. uh, look at your life. You're trying to transform, move from a shack, yes. four room to the city. And you've either started a business or you're looking to work for a company. Mm. But you want to work for not a local township company. It's a company in town. The person who's invested in your little business is an Indian guy from somewhere else. You're no different from that guy. And you're like, my man, I've been trying for 20 years to find local guys. They either don't have the money or their terms are ridiculous uh, or they whatever. And I found this guy has been in business forever. He's opened his networks. He's helped me. He's given me so much support. That's what I'm asking because there are Silicon Valley Dubai guys. There's some of the Israeli guys in Tel Aviv, some of the Hong Kong guys, they would probably love to be involved in something like this. And I'm asking you, do you think it's realistic to try and get an African investor? I know what you're saying. Um, <clears throat> I've got other entities, right, that I can sell, no problem. They don't have the same mandate. Yeah. But with Jami Trade, it touched me because so many things, man. You you find UK backed by gold, but they don't have any mine. Yeah. I'm not the same guy. I'm not a seller <laughs> in this case because I've seen that I can make money. Let me be on. Let me just say this. Personally, I can make money to suit me. Actually, I make money. <laughs> I made money in corporate. When I was, my last job, I was reporting to the CEO of AutoZone. If I stayed there, where I was, where would I be? <laughs> You'd be an exec. You'd be an exec or maybe they'd be grooming you to take over, you know. I have solved my personal purpose. It's no longer about me. Now when I'm building analytics advertising, I've helped so many young professionals get their uh, their dreams dream car dream houses mm. um, i've achieved in this level if i have to sell a company it might be analytics advertising it might be others but i'm talking jammy trade in the sense that what is something that i have done that will make impact in the continent jammy trade i'm giving it time i'm giving it time that this is beyond money this is this yes, is purpose this it's is impact. activism this is impact men samosa is more route what have you done that have created a route for us to move? That's what I'm like. I won an award in Russia for BRICS Top Entrepreneur last year. Jeez, congrats, bro. Last year? Yes. And when, did, when did Russia invade? <laughs> uh, uh, no, Ukraine. I'm kidding. Sorry, sorry. No, Please. no, no. But don't, congrats. don't, yeah, don't believe in anything you see on media also. Of course. It's owned by the same people. Of course. We'll stop it there. Yes. Okay. But yes. No, because it, it, I'm only saying that because we're, we're almost not allowed to speak about it. And okay. we're not here for, yeah, yeah. for politics. Yeah, yeah. We're not here. I don't but speak don't, politics. don't believe everything you read in the media because there are certain people that own platforms and they have agendas. Yeah. And they're going to make you see, hear, believe whatever they want. Yes. Yeah. So you want an award in Russia. Congrats. Yeah. For BRICS. And um, BRIC, yo, Russia is a good country. It has always been. And they've always been backing Zimbabwe from the time of sanctions. If people can read this, they will know. But yeah, BRICS, um, BRICS is of um, um, Brazil, China, India, South Africa, Russia. But now there's more um, mm. countries, including, yeah, I'm, I'm not allowed to say this also. I'm part of the chairperson for BRICS IBF now, International Business Forum. Yes, so, so you're moving. So um, there are certain things I'm not allowed, but there's a lot of countries now. I think I've read that about 19 yeah. countries are trying to get in. Which makes the BRICS economics or the economy more powerful than the IMF. The, the traditional West. Yes. So, yeah, things like that. But when I won the award in Russia, I've seen guys who are making powerful solutions. Powerful solutions. To a point where I looked at them, I'm like, what have I done, man? I know that I built that technology that was used in Europe. This was used there. Now. But what have I done, man? Mm. I... in. And that's what got me to start focusing on building the, uh, the, the group because then I was still focused on building analytics advertising. That was my last end um, last year to say, now I'm done with building this company. You guys can take it. I will still help you, mm. but you can still take it to the next level. But the reason of that is these guys are making solutions that are impactful. When you look at Alibaba, when you look at there's another solution they use in China that, is, that helps them to buy groceries within, even in, even in shacks and whatever. It mm. to, what have you done that will make impact in your community that people can talk about? I didn't have that. That's when I started compiling everything that was on the shelf. And I said, I'm going to run with this and I'm going to put them under the shelf, under the, the, the group. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm doing now. Every day now, I'm worrying about Spaza Eats, Jamie Trade, AX, which is a, a more hardware 
selling a company that What's I'm still doing. AX. It's just the AX. Yeah, it's just the abbreviation of Analytics Act. It's um, we already doing research and development. It's been a year now. I'm working on this, but I might come out maybe January or so next mm. year. It's a uh, the, the continent lacks connectivity. When I go to Rwanda and, and Ethiopia, all these guys are using unknown uh, cell phones. Yeah. And I'm like, where, where is our phones here? Yeah. Where is our technologies that are going to back our own information? Mm. That's what I'm working on. So I'm still working on that because if you're going to use your own data centers and stuff like that, you need to be ready. So there's something like this. So now I'm I'm using this other three as my drive, which mm. is the e-learning. As far as I use in Jami Trade, that's what I'm working on. And the idea is to make impact. So if I'm going to say Jami Trade is for anybody who's ready and is if they're going to give me money. Uh, brother, uh, if I sell analytics advertising now, I'm a wealthy guy. Done. Six years in the game. If I sell analytics advertising, I'm done. But how is it that I'm still here and I'm running like a street kid? It's beyond money. You have to do it for the reason what you call for. It's my assignment. And even if I fail on this thing, even if I go back to the streets on this thing, this is what I'm doing it for. And some guy might look at me and think, this guy, he will go back to the shed. You're, you're forgetting that I took myself out of the shed. It's not my brother or whoever who took me out. This brain took me out. And what I know now, can't, I can't unlearn it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. So I'm, I'm adding on what I already know. I'm unlearning what is no longer useful. Yeah. And I'm going in for what is going to help most people. So now I'm working on a journey of helping more people and the continent. And one of my biggest pain now is to connect the continent because so many people have told wrong stories about it. And if I can connect people through Jamie Trade, even through networking, I would have achieved, you know, even if I stopped it there. So that's why the, the goal is not to, to make money from it, it's to get the continent to own itself and to own what they, what, what they can say is, is for them. Yeah. You're, you're reminding me of so many ideas I've had. M-Pesa is one of the success stories yes. on the continent. Yeah. There was a success story in Nigeria that I liked personally at the time. It was called Forget Me Not Africa, where mm. people could post on Facebook and send emails through SMS. Mm. You're very right that we've got a lot of problems on the continent. Mm. Uh, I had a gentleman here, Winston Innes, um, who was saying privilege is a struggle. I mean, a struggle is a privilege. Um, and it almost sounds like it's the same vein. Yeah. There is so much unexplored, untapped. I mentioned at some points as well, listening to Lois Okola, mm. a comedian, speaking about infrastructure and listening to the story of Jammy Trade, listening to the story of Spaza Eats, which I can imagine is probably like an Uber Eats for Spaza yes. shops. Yes. Um, listening to someone speaking about how the economy is just the movement of goods and services. I made a video when I was in Durban saying if I could meet someone now who is passionately saying my calling is to build first world transport infrastructure around the African continent, rail, Powerful. bus, mm. airplane, mm. ship, uh, drone, uh, pipelines that not only move oil and gas, but maybe even move goods. Mm. Um, bicycles, sure. people that walk um, because I want one of the reasons why a lot of foreign businesses are making money on the continent is because they can move things yes. from Cape Town to Joburg, yes. from They've got the ships. harbor to, yeah. they can move things quicker than yeah. you can because you don't have roads. You don't have air. You don't have roads, you don't have airplanes. You don't have, and then we can discuss the money because one of the things that I think can save poor people, not just on this continent, is finding solutions outside of money. Payment yes. gateways are needed, yes. but how do we trade where I'm saying, we're going to bring maize from the Northwest. Yes. We need your yams. Yes. Uh, we can buy your yams, or we can bring you maize, and you can give us yams. Yes. No money transfer, but 100%. and the guys who are going to transport However, they're going to take some of the maize, yes. some of the yams, 100%. and they're going to transfer, they're going to exchange it yes, for their children's system. school yes. fees for until we get some of these things right. And then we create the value of, we don't have to put it in dollar terms yes. or rubles or yen. Yes. We can say no, <laughs> we'll decide for ourselves the value of maize, yams, plantain, yes. a cow, a yes. goat, etc. 
But if we can get the infrastructure right, it's it's why the internet is a game changer. Like, yes. how do we get education in the village? Yes. How do we move? The kids are like, okay, yeah. I see Jamie, but I make things in my village, but yeah. how do I move it to how do I move Camps it? Bay? 100%. And you're like, we'll send drones. Yes. There's a that's bus that comes IoT. every day. There's I, I, that's internet of things. With this, Jamie, we can implement, we can implement the same model like Amazon, brother. The same drones. Can there are people them. sitting. We're speaking scooters now. Yes. In places like in Asia, Thailand, I don't know if parts of Singapore, Vietnam, it's like we don't have scooters because we can't afford fuel, but we've yeah. got bicycles. Yes. We don't have bicycles, we've got donkeys. We don't yeah. have donkeys. I mean, we move. There, we move. There are people <laughs> sitting today that if I remember there was someone in South Africa who tried, I don't know where they fell short, getting people to sign up on an app and saying, I'm willing to courier with my feet. If it's within a, a five, a yeah, ten, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can go and pick this thing yeah. up. I'll go drop it off. I'm cheaper than a scooter, yes, cheaper, cheaper than a bicycle. bicycle. <laughs> It'll be a bit slower, but you'll get there. I mean, one of the greatest entrepreneurs for me is Christo Visa uh -huh. and the people he's brought around him. What, uh -huh. he, what he's done with ShopRite. Amazing. What he's done with Pep. Pep is probably Amazing. my favorite company. Uh -huh. And actually, it's going to lead me to my next point about, uh -huh. you spoke about cell phones, uh -huh. MobiCell and, and Mara. Uh -huh. If you look at how the post office has collapsed, uh -huh. South African post office under our government. I don't even know if it's intentional. Mm. Pep is now moving to start goods with Paxi. Ooh. There's a young black boy who's trying to, and I think he needs help, what you said about collaboration, who's trying to formalize the taxi industry as a courier service. It's, a, it's an idea I've had forever. How do we, in the back seat, underneath, under some of the seats, maybe Wherever put a caravan, you go in. On the back of every taxi, because mm. taxis are not going to be like Pep. Pep taxi is three to five days for the standard. The other one's a bit quicker. You've got Aramax now overnight. Taxis are not overnight. They're not. If you know a taxi is leaving Joburg and going to Louis Trichardt, it's going to arrive in a few hours. You can pick it up at the taxi rank. Now, how do we solve that? Now, Paxi's done that. And one of the things Pep has done is it's created more distribution centers, outlets, mm. than the post office, Ooh. which was major. Because they already have the shops, yeah. And that's why they are they have monopolies on Ooh. school uniform, stationery, and they sell the most cell phones in this country. People don't wow. know that. Yes, yes. And the I highest imagine, selling yeah. cell phone in this country, mm. which is something people don't know, is MobiCell, which is a South African brand. Mm. The parts come from, I don't know if it's South Korea or uh -huh. China. Mm. It's a South African brand. Mm. I think it was founded by an Indian guy. Mm. Mobisal is the highest selling phone and Ooh. it's South African. Mm, mm. Um, Ashish Takar came and they tried to set up uh, uh, Mara smartphones with yeah, Cyril yeah, yeah, and I've, the guys. It yeah. fell apart. Mm. I don't know if there were some scandals and corruption. Mm. I'm, I'm not involved, but <laughs> they wanted to do these things. And it's what you're saying. How do we get local entrepreneurs to come up with simple solutions? Do I need a phone with 50,000 applications? No, I need SMS, phone call, WhatsApp, Maybe jammy trade so I can make some money. And, and it should Puzzle be so eats yes. so that if my my mom is at home and she yes. needs groceries, yes. someone can drop them. Yeah. How do we how do we do that for ourselves? And there are intelligent guys here. And that's where we start having to fight the systems, the regulations and the and, ICASAs and the Let me tell you something, brother. And, and then how do we move it? I like what you're saying. And I'd like to be part of the solution. What I've learned on my journey of creating solution is that we, nobody's willing to carry the pain. Oof. Nobody. I've got friends that know that I'm doing this. You know what? No, none of them ever call me and say, can I come work for you for free? Because I've never said no to them. I've never said no to these guys. But all of them tend to back. This guy since he started winning, he's nothing like me. Mm. I've never said none of that. I could have been a channel for you. I could, I could have been an easy channel for you to make it. What I've learned is that people are not willing to be part of anything that is a struggle. And even anything that is associated to pain, they will avoid it to live better. And what are you chasing? Well, look at what they're chasing. Nothing, brother. Can, 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 can we call what you're doing now remarkable? Can you be remembered for what you're doing today? You know what I mean? When you're doing things that nobody will remember after 10 years, 15 years, what you're doing. I'm not for that. I'm doing things that will make impact in any, any individual that I've ever came across. Anybody who have ever worked for analytics advertising, analytics X, who have came across me, their life have changed because they have their mind was awakened. They see things different. 
That's what that's the route I'm in. But if we are going to wait for people who are not willing to take pain to change, make change, we're not gonna move. And they talk too much, talk as if they know everything. Yeah. What you have created here, it's a platform that can become a powerful business of the modern day. It's the new TV of the modern day. And that's what it is. Whether they agree now or later, that's what it is. Um, so some people can join you and help you scale it. Yeah. Or they can talk nothing about it and talk yeah. as if they're going to help build this platform. But at the end of the day, if they're not helping you build, they just wait. Yeah. They, you're carrying too much stone yeah. to be listening to people you grew up with. Who are, this thing is a big modern day TV. It, brother, we've pushed more than 4 million 2022 analytics advertising to digital platforms. I, I, I approve this. Oh, so you guys want to give us money? No, no, no. You know, you know what I mean? I say we're getting money, Debs. No, no, no. I'm no longer doing that. I say we're getting money, Debs. I'm, I'm no longer. I, I would like you to come to the office to analytics advertising. I'd be honored to come visit. Yes. I'm no longer running the company. And simply because I am a good the company. Yes. I uh, know. Then I've got an in. You know your wife. I know yeah, you. it's all about connection. Obviously, <laughs> connection. So. Uh, it, I, I run the business with generosity, so maybe at some point um, that's why I had to run out because uh, it's not business. It's not good for business. Yes, yeah. but there's platforms like yours that we have. I have approved more than four million, 2022. Thank, thank you for what you've done for them, and I hope they understand. I hope they appreciate it. I hope they're gonna pay it forward, and even when the times are hard, because we like we like running on, like you said. Yeah. We're not, we don't want to be there for the struggle. We want to be there when it's winning. Yes. Penal show is now on yes. however many subscribers. Yeah. And you're like, you're Christian. I'm yes. not. Uh, I, I left Christianity yeah, okay. and I built my own belief system. Yeah, what's, your, I, what's your belief? Brother? It's penalism. Okay. After me. <laughs> Arrogant, narcissistic. I feel that. Um, I'm a huge fan of many biblical stories. And I'm an extremely huge fan of the story of Jesus Christ. Mm. You want to find your 12 disciples. And you want to make sure that even at times when they deny knowing you, even at times when they stab you in the back, but you want to find the 12 disciples yes, who are going to travel with you in tough times. 100%. When you're getting judged, when 100%. you... 100%. We call them day ones, of course. That 100%. You want, and, and most people are not willing to do that. Yes. Sadly, because they don't believe in the vision. Yes. But part of why I create these platforms yeah. is many reasons. One of them, maybe we don't speak about it enough. Uh -huh, tell me. Hollywood is one of the greatest propaganda machines on the planet. Mm -hmm. America is a crazy piece of land yes. where there are a lot of bad things. Mm. People murdered, a lot of poverty, a lot of suffering, a lot of racism. So, but Hollywood puts in heavy lifting to make sure that the rest of the world believes that America is the land of milk and honey. Mm. They teach us about everyone came here with 40 acres and a mule. The American dream, people like Trevor Noah living mm. the American dream. Mm. Um, you can become anything mm. that you want. The CIA is mm. the most intelligent agency. Mm. Mm. The FBI is dope. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, you spoke about Africa. And if you're going to be watching Hollywood, if you're going to be listening to Fox, CNN, BBC, maybe Al Jazeera and these guys, they're never going to tell the best stories about us. There's enough of the bad stories. So 100%. How do I? Because every time I bring people How do I on, get the message across? How do I help people cross? There are going to be people commenting on, on this conversation saying, Ben, where did you find this guy? Where, yeah. I'm like, do you know how many more of us there are? Mm. We just didn't have platforms 100%. to tell our stories, to, be. to find each other, 100%. to say... I heard everything he said. I don't care. I want to be involved in Spaza Eats. <laughs> I heard everything he said, but I want to be involved in Jabi Trades. And it's open. It's open for us. I used to work for Alibaba. I want to come through. Hey, 100%. bro, do you know, I know the... This guy said he's looking for African investors. I know people. This guy... Like, 100%, brother. Um, how do you create a platform for collaboration where we can get these things done? And then how do we push our own narrative. propaganda so that we can win? That's why I respect a platform like yours. And I respect it because you're speaking knowledge in this platform. I watch it. I'm saying this, that it, sh it shouldn't be about games, man. The modern day fight, it's economic. Yeah. And the economic comes with storytelling and telling our own stories and educating our people. Your platform does that. The gone are the days watching things that are not taking you anywhere, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I They're actually intentionally destroying- To keep you entertained. They're intentionally destroying your capacity to- even solve the most basic of your own problems. And you watch there, you sit there, you spend hours, you sit in there, and then you then you come back, you say, Penwell is stupid. 
You come there, you say, uh, they call me Mr. Banks. You say, Mr. Banks is oh, stupid. Oh, snap. Yeah. You say, Mr. 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 Secure the bag, Mr. Banks. Because I've secured so many bags for people. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, how many how many like how many people have you employed and their families have changed because of you and your intelligence i i don't want to be part of things that are not moving let's be part of the solution what you are building here it's helping somebody cross it's helping someone's brain change and understand how they should move next i'm saying to everyone that the the biggest the biggest crime in africa it's the understanding of knowledge to me. You read, we all read in. Yeah. You say PhD. Yeah. Do you understand what, you are a doctor of business, but you still don't have one. You still don't know how to start. You still don't know how to, what type of doctor is that who does know how to heal? Even CB was better. You know Dr. CB? Mm. I know Dr. CB very well. He didn't need a PhD yeah. to do this. It, the the person who built the first school, <laughs> the person who formalized education, didn't have an education, didn't have a school. The people that were the first healers didn't have qualifications. We've just been mentally colonized to believe. And they all things. failed. They all failed. Let not body say that. Hey, my things are running well. When I'm running five entities, is that easy to do that? Even when you find me not going through so much, don't look at it and say he's done. I'm not. I'm just going through the process. It's not easy to build this thing. And there's so many of us who are waiting there. You're sitting under a corporate company that they, there's no way you're going to benefit anything from it because you're not connected to the founder of it. But you, you're talking Penwell's movement as if you have contribution. You don't. And that's my thing. My thing is that everything that I'm doing, let it add value to everybody that I'm working with. Yeah. Let them, that's why I keep saying this. Anybody who's working with me, if you're working on that product, you're going to be either have shares on it or you're going to benefit from it or you're going to get bonuses on it. That's what I'm trying to do. If I'm able to hire a graduate um, and they earn 25000 in the company, isn't that an achievement compared to where it's I'm coming from? Crazy. Yes. Um, you know what I mean? What I'm trying to say is let us give ourselves time and let's allow ourselves to cross. Let's allow platforms like this to be. Support it if you can. You know, create a... You know what I mean? That's what's missing. The, it's not that the, the planes and the route and the logistics won't happen. Platforms like logistics can enable payments and 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 and, pro and transaction happen but we'll still need logistics to be activated it's people who see opportunity and understand that they are the person you are the called one to be the person who activates that because people are looking at everyone as if somebody else has to do it if you are the called one why don't you do what you're so, supposed to be doing then the system will work together it's the ecosystem it doesn't work one way you don't expect me to do everything i can only do so much i'm also coming from poverty i've got still have a chain of Families who still doing, who still need my assistance. So you can't blame me for not knowing much or for not doing so much or for not for for not hiring so many people. I can only do what I can at this point. But if we start working, if we start knowing that you are the person with your knowledge to be, then we will move somewhere. Then we you you'll get out of the observations there and get in the field. Mr. Banks, let's shut it down there. Mm. Thank you so much for visiting us. I'm looking forward to visiting Analytics X. Yeah. Um, finding out more about Spaza Eats, Jamie yeah. Trade, um, the stuff you're doing at Hardware, everything else that you're doing. Yeah. I'm hoping that we this can be the beginning of a really great relationship. 100%. More than just money and business. Yes. Just, I, I love human beings. Yes. My my mining, yeah. <laughs> I'm constantly looking to mine the, the greatest, knowledge. The greatest yeah. human beings mm -hmm. with the greatest minds doing the greatest work. 100%. Talipani. 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 Thank you so much for coming through and I Thank you look so much. forward to sitting down with you again. I appreciate you, my brother, and all the best. And um, if you keep the vision, there are people whose lives and dreams are connected to yours. They will always create a, a room for you. You know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.